Hello, Hyman. Good afternoon. Uh, recently, we spoke with you about the, your next fight with Muhammad Hijab. But uh, recently, also, like I think a few days before, uh, Muhammad Hijab announced that the fight has been cancelled. Uh, I want to understand what happened exactly and why the fight was cancelled. Let's start from the non-negotiable list, condition, uh, condition list that they sent to you. Uh, the earliest Hijab can fight is the first week of May. He wanted to fight in May. For me, that doesn't matter. I can fight him next week, you know. He wanted in May, so this, is, this is, was a, wasn't the reason why it uh, be cancelled. Uh, the second point is he will not fight any uh, lighter than 110 kg. Is it a problem for you? No. This is also, we didn't talk about the weight. You just say the weight is 110 kilo, I'm 80 kilo, it's like 40 kilo more than me, and I don't care, you know. But uh, the reason, we didn't talk which, which fight. A jiu-jitsu fight, an MMA fight, a boxing fight. We didn't talk about it, so it doesn't matter the, the weight now. Yeah. Next point. No heel hooks a lot because there is a uh, BJJ blue belt. Uh, straight food locks a lot. Okay? Come on, you want to fight a, prof a professional fighter and you tell me not to do a heel hook. Probably you saw my video. 90% of my fights I'm, I'm winning with a heel hook. This is my, uh, my jiu-jitsu game, you know, the heel hook. Also in, in, in MMA fights, I won like a couple of them with the heel hook. You want to take my uh, best technique and take it out and say, let's go fight. You know, like tell me, let's go fight with no hand, uh, hand behind your, my back, you know. So, but it's too early to talk about it. It was too early to talk about it because we didn't talk about which kind of fight. I'm saying it again. Not a MMA, not a boxing, not a bare knuckle. We didn't talk about it. So, but he put it. Another thing I also want to say in the same point, is it like should be like a reason that because he BJJ blue belt, he cannot do like, uh, he's not allowed to do heel hooks? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. How many MMA fighters like a blue belt in Jiu Jitsu and they're fighting MMA, you know? You're going to fight a professional fight. You cannot say I'm a blue belt. It's a professional fight. Nobody cares what is your martial arts background in, uh, in uh, jiu-jitsu or in karate. You're going to be an MMA, uh, MMA fighter or a professional athlete, you know? So nobody asks me, you know how many UFC fighters is a blue belt in jiu-jitsu? So what? Nobody you know, cares. nobody cares, you know? He's a professional fighter. Next point. Location has to be in England. But I see here in the last video, uh, hijab's last video that he say we even offered him a neutral venue outside of the united kingdom we even told him we can fight in thailand in bangkok or is it phuket or phuket i don't know how to pronounce the, the, the word location has to be england and you have in the recorder of the conversation that he said location has to be london england or something like that we want the fight to be in the uk the fight has to be in the uk uh specifically in england the fight has to be in the UK, it has to be in England. And the last point, a random blood, uh, urine and hair test. Hair test? When you do a fight, a professional fight, I can say you do a blood test. Urine test you're doing just to check for steroid. Blood test that you don't have disease. Hair test? Are you trying to check my DNA? You want to see if I'm your father? No, I'm not your father, my friend. I am your father. So also you said, that no organization wants this fight because you're not a professional fighter. Bro, you're a professional fighter. It's a, you can't even not sanction a fight with someone, a professional fighter with a public speaker. You can't even sanction, it's unsanctionable in the United Kingdom. But I saw in the England that they do a lot of YouTuber fighters, like boxing fights, that bring in a lot of people, like thousands of people to see the fights, that two people that want a boxer and, not, and, and one is a YouTuber. It's not the same. Suddenly, you cannot do that in England. Hey, man, do this and you're pretending to want to fight. You don't want to fight because you're over the hill, because you're retired. And he had also thought that you actually retired, okay? You said that I'm retired. That's why I'm afraid of you, because I'm over the, the hill or something like that. So I fought in last Mars in a bare knuckle fight. I fought in June in a ADCC. And I took first place. So if I retired, I retired what? From June to now? Like, I retired like six months? 
accept and we're not going to give this guy money and we, it's not ethical for us to give this guy money he's using it for this and for that reason now, i didn't promise anybody money why don't you fight for honor why don't you be a man you don't want me to make money on the fight but you got a motivation on your on this video and you're making money on this video it's not the same you cannot fight me that's the the the, the, the that's the reality. He cannot fight me. He can fight me, but he cannot win, you know. He can do that. You know, he's in war with us. He see me as his enemy. If he's going to lose to his enemy, you know what's going to happen in the Arab world. It's going to be like that. Nobody's going to listen to his bullshit that he's talking about the public speaker, public speaker. Nobody's going to listen to this guy because he lost to a Jew. Mohammed Hijab has not even had one amateur fight. Mm -hmm. He's not even had one amateur fight let alone professional fight yeah. so for for us you know there's a few important things i have to let you know uh if you can convey that to your client and then see if we can make it work as we say in our religion if god if it's meant to be it's meant to be if it's not meant to be it's meant to be but it's, imp but it's important we tell you what we need from our side you know about the uh, uh call recorders i just want the, everybody will hear the next recording now we already know he can't fight any of our professionals he can't fight the Hamza Chemaevs or the Islam Makhachefs or this one that there's no chance there's nobody in the world that's pro-Zionist today that can fight any of our top Muslim fighters there's no chance there's no, absolutely no way there's no way and no chance instead he went for the public speaker and he also said from all the fighters the Muslim fighter I came to you the public speaker no so I came to all the Muslim fighter Chimaev, I'm willing to fight him, bare knuckle. Uh, Khabib, I'm willing to fight him, uh, jiu-jitsu fight. I said that uh, in all my posts, I'm willing to fight all of them. So I came to the public speaker, now the public speaker came to me. Stop lying. Look, 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 look. This is the situation, yeah? The situation is this. This fight needs to happen without it being seen as there is a partnership that's all mixing between our parties. Yeah. This is the truth. Of, this is the truth of the matter. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to, but well, I'm not sorry because it's, it's the truth. Yeah. It, we can't be seen anywhere helping you. Okay. And as Israelis, you should know this. You, you, you know that in judo competitions, Egyptians will not fight you. Sometimes they'll boycott you. They'll boycott you. That's just athletics. And I imagine money involved. They, they will boycott us. In the end of the day, we can understand that they're not afraid. Uh, they're afraid also to uh, fight for you. They did everything that they don't want. To fight with you and also they afraid that actually somebody will think that they uh, uh, cooperate with you if right now muhammad hijab after the, he uh, he see this video and he will uh, would like still fight with you are you ready to fight let me tell you something if you want to fight with me like the way he wanted no money no nothing come to israel come to israel we don't need a ring you can just come to my Academy, I got a cage over there, and we're going to do the fight. The same way you want it. Because then you're going to be a bully, like everybody said you are, a bully, that coming to attack me. And then you're going to see what happened. You know, you can come video, you can come with everything. That's I'm going to do for free. But I'm not going to fly to England for free and do all the bullshit stuff you're talking about. But if you want to do the, 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 the way you want it, come to Israel. Let's see you. I'm going to pay for your tickets. I'm going to pay your manager tickets. I'm going to pay... Yo, I don't know what. And his video is talking like I back up from the fight because like I'm afraid. So let me tell you something, uh, Muhammad. I'm 50 years old. My professional career start in Bellator when I was 43 years old. I fought against people 20 years younger than me. I never back up from a fight, never. I went to a bare knuckle after I did jiu-jitsu for more than 30 years just in a training camp two months i become a boxer and i went to the bkfc the biggest organization in bare and i fought over there i'm looking to you i'm looking like uh, somebody that is afraid come on and also you said i was in the idf 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 i never was in the idf i was in a border patrol it's a special unit of the police so stop with this idf bullshit because i've never been in the idf I was in the police. Okay, so stop with the bullshit. So if you think I'm afraid of you, come to Israel. I have academy, I got a cage over there, come to Israel.